Okay, Joe, we just want to continue to work on getting into a good loaded position. Um, here's what I see when I watch your film, right? As our stride foot hits, there, okay? A couple of things. We can see that our weight's really transferred forward on our stride, right? We can see how much weight's already transferred onto our front foot. I think our chin is outside of our, our belly button. And look at our hands. We want to have our hands just, just look at this and compare it to where the major leaguers have their hands when their stride foot hits. Again, our general rule is a fist away from our back shoulder because what causes a breakdown, you can see, look where your back elbow is here. And as you're taking your stride, excuse me, your hands, you can see how we're starting to come forward with our top half as our stride foot hits, right? So because we're starting to, to get going with our top half on our stride and we've got our weight coming forward on our stride, right? As we look here and I put the arrow on your chin, you can see as you swing, see how we're getting our chin coming up? We're coming up and around, right? Rather than getting that length through, but I think the whole thing comes back to we're getting a breakdown on our stride. So when we hit, again, just look at where the major leaguers are when they hit. You can see that we've got our weight forward and our hands from here to here have started to come forward. So we're just starting our swing with our top half, which again makes us come up and around as we swing. So just keep working on getting loaded. Watch the major leaguers over and over again. Sorry about that. Watch the major leaguers over and over again and just compare that to your position. And I think if we get loaded properly, then we'll be able to get our lower half to go first. And then we're going to be able to get long through the ball and our chin will stay down.